Hello, everybody, and happy 2021. Derek Egler, your host with the most, bringing you episode number lucky 13 of What's on Tap. I know many people were sour over 2020. Well, folks, I'm going to start you out a little sour for 2021 as we bring something from our friends at Urban Artifact in Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, <coughs> sorry. Um, don't know uh, their specialties by any means, uh, but I do have a few selections from the Urban Artifact in Cincinnati. Um, they all happen to be sours, ghosts, or your fruit tarts. Um, now, what we have today is a can that I did pick up at the local store. Um, this one uh, in particular did cost me $3.75 for 12 fluid ounces. Clocking in my friends at a hefty 9.1% alcohol per volume. Uh, this is Urban Artifacts Stabber Stones Yellow and Green Plum Midwest Fruit Tart. And uh, like I did say before, this bad boy does clock in at a 9.1. And I don't know if the camera will actually see that uh, correctly. Um, but uh, there you go, the Stabber Stones. Um, and right there um, above my finger is the... 9.1 alcohol by volume. Um, like I said, never had anything from Urban Artifact. Ooh. Smells good. Ooh. Really, really, really fruity there. It really has that... Man, nails are like just a, a, just a bunch of plums. Wow. That is a good beer. Yellow and green plum. Uh, it's a Midwest fruit. 3.2 uh, 3 pH on this one. Um, I am using a um, special glass from my friends at Brothers Drake Meadery in Columbus. Uh, you ever have a chance um, to be in the Columbus area? Um, revitalized uh, area down there um, in, uh, in Columbus. I'm not sure exactly where it is. Um, but it's down in the uh, the newly revamped uh, industrial area down there. Um, Brothers Drake Meadery, um, it is mead, um, so it is fermented honey um, with different things in it. Absolutely delicious, great atmosphere. Uh, if you're ever in that area, please go visit Brothers Drake. Um, they do have an awesome selection, great vibe. Um, sometimes even have live music. So now as I pour this, I, I'm pouring it out and it just seems like a bunch of nectar like it just seems like this is just nectar it is what it really seems like getting a view of it um you you look at it too it just seems like this is just nectar you can smell a, a great amount of sweetness a um, little bit of tartness there in the nose no alcohol at all in the nose absolutely deliciously sour um hmm. now it says it is brewed with natural flavors uh this in it is also they are uh urban artifact is an independent craft um nothing really exceptional about this can i mean the design or anything um, it did catch my eye. I usually get my, you know, my eye usually gets caught um, by anything with drawings, pictures, um, anything different. Um, and this just being green with just these these different houses um, and things looks like mushrooms on them as well. Um, there and there, or little towers or trees, maybe maybe they're trees. I don't know. Um, but this is Urban Artifact. Um, they do ask you to recycle this, so that's always good. They're green. Um, a lot of these uh, breweries um, that I'm going to be um, getting into are, are usually uh, a green, um, into the green initiative. Um, <clears throat> and they usually have a lot of different uh, things that most people don't usually get into. Um, now, like I said, this is the Stabber Stones Urban Artifact. Uh, it is their Midwest Fruit Tart 
knocking uh, knocking at the door at 9.1 percent um, and i'll tell you right now that this is the smoothest 9.1 percent beer i've ever had in my entire life uh hands down smoothest 9.1 you, you will probably ever have um and this is just awesome and it's delicious And if it wouldn't be for me pouring this right out of the can, opening it on on, on the show, and pouring it in, you, you would be like, oh, he's just drinking orange juice or, you know, some mango puree nectar or something. I mean, something like that, some tangerine juice, orange juice. I mean, it might look like orange juice for you. To me, it would be like a like watered-down orange juice almost look um, to it. But I'll tell you, this is good stuff. And 9.1%, you would never know. Um, and, and like I said, I 375 uh, I mean, it was under $4 a can. Um, would I pay $4 again for a can of it? I mean, it's pretty good. Um, might be able to age it in the, in the fridge for six months to a year, possibly. So that is something that I would definitely uh, think about doing, would be to get another can of this and just, just throw it in the fridge for six months to a year you do you just get that plum the plum the fruit the tartness the sweetness all that on the nose it's it's wonderful mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's the one thing, I, and I've been gradually getting into the sours, the gosas, <clears throat> and such, the, the, the wild sours, um, and I'll tell you, man, they're, they are delicious. There's some of them out there that are just out of this world, uh, knock your socks off, um, and I've got a few of them, a um, few from Canada, some Wisconsin Delights, um, I'm giving probably a little bit too much info out now what the all-time best beer on this show is going to be more than likely unless i find something better and i'll tell you this right here this sour is an absolute delight it is amazing um i mean it is right up there it, it, it the thing with this it's it's different um that blueberry maple that i did was was was, was fantastic stuff Like, this to me is a little bit, it might almost be better than old style. Like, this is, and this is a battle with me internally because we all know how much I love old style. And things can't always change. They can always be revisited. Um... But if you if you look at the the categorization of things, six pack of, of old style to six pack of this. Six pack of this is gonna get you way drunker. Price wise, it's also gonna cost you, like I said, three seventy five a can. Um, I'm getting cans of old style for anywhere from sixty sixty five to seventy three cents, something something somewhere in that range per can. Um, with alcohol in it, of course. Um, so price wise, price wise, we're definitely the edge is, is too old style 100%. Um, if we're just going by strictly a beer that you can go out, drink, um, I mean, if you're throwing rarities into the, the equation, you, you would put the, the dogfish and everything else up there. The dogfish was good, but it just wasn't. It, it wasn't better than old style. It just really was not um, for a number of reasons and, and factors. Like just the, I mean, I want something that I'm like, I taste it and I'm like, whoa, like, hmm, damn, that's pretty, pretty good stuff. And then I, you know, want to take another drink and be like, man, that's, that is good, man. I, I could sit down and drink a ton of this. And this stuff right here, I could drink a ton of it. 
and it's good. That, um, the Maple Black, I, I, there's a lot of these beers on this list, I could drink a ton of it. Um, I think after we get past, like, number 10, it goes to that point of, like, I couldn't probably sit down and drink a six-pack of it, just, that probably wouldn't happen. Um, but, I mean, overall, this is a, a really nice beer here. Really, really nice beer. Yeah, this is definitely up there. I mean, it's a top three on this list. I'm, I'm pretty sure of that. Now, that Yingling was good. The, that was good. I mean, the Maple was good. This, this just has it, though. This just has that it factor. The it factor. Like, I smelt, I smelt the sour on my nose. Now, if you don't like sour or a ghost or a fruit, you know, fruit ales, anything like that, then you're not, I mean, you, you may completely defer and, and say I'm completely out of my mind on this, but this is a, this is an amazing beer, it is, I mean, you can see, it just looks like orange juice, I mean, you could drink this at your kid's soccer game and nobody's gonna know, I mean, if you just drink it out of a cup, I mean, not my special glass here, but just out of a cup, nobody's gonna know, they're gonna be like, oh, you're drinking orange juice, and then even when you talk to them, they're probably gonna think, oh, you're drinking orange juice, hey, with vodka in it, maybe. And the perfect amount of carbonation in this beer. I mean, I really, really think that, I mean, this and Old Star are right there, neck and neck, but this just has those extra characteristics being the the sour, the percent alcohol, just the the absolute wonderful taste of this. If you like orange juice, you would love this. Absolutely love it. It's like a mimosa without the champagne. It's, I mean, it, this is, it, it's no orange juice. Like, it doesn't taste like orange. So it's perfect for me. I'm not a huge orange fan. Plums, they're not, like, overpowering or anything. So you're really just getting a nice, mellow plum fruitness. The sours just pop, and it's just, this is awesome. Damn, this is good. I, I made a great decision to start out 2021 here. Mm. Getting a little bit of the yeastiness here. It's almost like it's almost like a wine, like smelling a sour, like a wine that's like a sour grape. You know, it it, it really is like a Gertschwein, Gertsch, I think is what they're called, or Gertschwein. I've got maybe one or two of those in the closet over there, so probably break those out sometime in the next. Eh, I don't know sometime i mean we're only on episode 13 i'm uh, starting in uh starting 2020 on a sour note here um with the uh the fruit tart um from urban artifact in cincinnati ohio um and this is this beer is an absolute delight folks if you are uh I'll just say, and I've got some other Urban Artifact. I think I'm going to have another one uh, here after this one sometime today or maybe tomorrow even. Um, but this is an absolutely fantastic, fantastic beer. Um, th it is the Stabber Stones Yellow and Green Plum Midwest Fruit Tart. It is 9.1% alcohol, um, and it doesn't taste it at all. It's, it's the smoothest 9-1 I've ever had. I mean, it is absolutely wonderful and absolute delight. This is, I mean, you just smell that sour. You just smell the sour, that tartness. It's just, you smell fruit. You don't, you smell plum. I mean, and it's not overpowering plum. It's a very faint plum. And just... Folks, this is an absolute marvelous beer. Um, the Urban Artifact Stabber Stones Midwest is so far, it is the best beer that we have had. Best beer we have had on the show so far. Uh, so we are starting 2021 off right. Um, I wanted to start it off a little sour, so I brought this uh, selection um, from our friends at Urban Artifacts. And I'll just say this, this is just wow. Um, I, I don't know, there's not much more to say. Um, this being a Midwest fruit tart, me being a Midwestern, uh, um, I'm not a fruit tart. Um, 
but I do like the fruit tarts for sure. Um, the ghosts, the sours, um, the wild sours, uh, the, the yeasts they use, um, just phenomenal. Um, I really do get a delight, um, out of the beers, the flavors of the beers, um, with all that. Um, I think it's Breck, Bret or something like that. Um, but yeah, definitely, you get a chance, um, go get, uh, Urban Artifacts, Stab, or Stones. I've got some more selections from them, um, so I will definitely try those out, see how those are, um, but yeah, definitely this, uh, Stab, or Stones, it is, it is the top of the list right now, folks, um, I don't know, I, I pretty much said Old Style was my, uh, my standard, um, what was my kind of baseline, you know, anything above that is definitely, woo, baby, anything below is, eh, you know, um, and there are a lot below, which are, are definitely great beers, but if it's, uh, if it's past the 10, 11 below, it's not really a, a whole lot worth a, a lot of time, um, or effort, um, but by all means, uh, Urban Artifact, you get a chance, um, go down there, uh, I'm lucky enough, my sister-in-law lives down in Cincy, so, um, I'll probably be, uh, probably have to visit her sometime soon, I'll tell you that, um, go visit the, uh, people down at Urban Artifact, see what it's all about, um, but folks, I'm gonna get out of here, uh, I've only got a little bit left, mm. Of this deliciously sour nectar they call Stabber Stones. So I will leave you all with this. Start the new year out right. Start it out on the right foot. Be kind. Be gentle. Be honest. Be open. Be caring. And honestly, everybody, just try to be united. Uh, I'm not going to get uh, into a big spiel. I've said what I have to say, everybody. Happy New Year. Egler out until the next time. What's on tap, we'll let you know. Keep on drinking.